Alright, this is Eric Hendricks with Zadura Magazine. I'm here with the creators of Killing Machine. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Scott. All right, and uh, we got Killing Machine here, San Diego Comic Con exclusive for five dollars, and we got some amazing artwork, and we can flip through and make everybody disoriented online. <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't you tell us a little bit about what is the book all about? It's about a man named Frank Hart who used to be an agent for a global agency who goes undercover, his cover is exposed, and he's brutally dismembered and kept for five years in a underground chamber to ward off others from uh, betraying the organization and he eventually is rescued by a team of mercenary types who take him back to a secret facility and they turn him into basically a super soldier using alien technology. So after that, but his, uh, but he's even though they want him to join like their ranks and become part of their army, a secret army, He's more obsessed about escaping this sort of recruitment and uh, go back and hunt down the people who turned him into what he is and uh, the people who also kidnapped his family and were now MIA. So it's a very brutal revenge story with a lot of other little twists that I want to roll for you. Awesome. So Killing Machine. So tell me a little bit about the art style that you use for Killing Machine. Um, I have to come in a little closer. Oh my God. He's very oh, soft spoken. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I'm not very, very inspired by Jim Lee and uh, and Mark Tsurishi. Yeah, so this guy I just uh, do some mix. And, it shows. Yeah. It definitely shows. So yeah, that's about it. Cool. All right, well we can check it out at the uh, Arcana booth 2415, and uh, it said $5 for San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and the actual final version of the trade paperback from Arcana probably 2011. Yeah, 2011. But, by the end of the year or sometime next year. Okay, cool. All right, well. Thanks. Thanks.